Hello, good morning, good evening, and welcome to Connor's Retro Omnibus. Today it is new series time, and I've this, uh, wanted to go back to a Pokemon series for a little bit, so we are going to take on Pokemon Brown, which is a ROM hack. Obviously, Nintendo never released a Pokemon Brown version. Hello, you must be new here. Welcome to this land called. Now, I want to say Rijon, but I know it's pronounced Rijon, as in region. My name is Timothy, but you can call me Tim. I am the island's Pokemon tutor. So he's not a professor, he's tutor. Tutor Tim. And interesting to note, that was the uh, sprite for Price from uh, Gold, Silver and Crystal, who's the ice gym leader. Blah, blah, blah. We all know this. We all know the spiel. There's a bunch of Pokemon. You have to be really nice to them. What's my name? Oh, man. Starting hard and heavy with the uh, philosophical questions already. Who am I? Now that you have met some people, all you need now is to journey the town. I think your mother has settled in and done unpacking. Your adventure starts here, so come see me sometime tomorrow after you awake. See you later. So, it leaves a lot uh, to be desired grammatically. Withdraw potion. Hey, many. Yep. What do you want to withdraw? Nothing. I'm fine. Let's go. Okay, so, what's this? Connor is playing the SNES. It's time to go. So, this is a hack of Pokemon Red, and if I recall, it originally surfaced around the early 2000s. But over, over the years, it's been enhanced and upgraded, and this is the latest iteration of it, which was released in 2014, I want to say. Unfortunately, the developers are no longer supporting the ROM hack, because um, they received a cease and desist from Nintendo, so their website is down. This is one that I've had for a while, sat on my computer. But, nevertheless, we will see what they've done. Uh, this road is pretty straightforward. You can never get lost on this road. You know what? He wasn't wrong. I, I haven't gotten lost. The, the Gravel Town Mart is giving out free samples today. Go ahead and take a free potion. Why, hey, very kind of you, sir. Generic looking man. Ah, uh, there you are, you're late. Okay, Tim, I've been waiting for you to get here. Blah, 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 let's go to his lab. So, again, your typical standard Pokemon fair. Try and leave the town, you get kidnapped and taken to this old man's laboratory where you get given a monster that you can battle and, you know, all that stuff. Three newly hatched Pokemon. So, despite being a hack of Pokemon Red, it does include more than 150 Pokemon. Um, I was having a read up, and it has 200. And, I want to say 230-ish Pokemon, I think. Um, and you've got Pokemon from generations one through to four. So, certain Pokemon like um, Electabuzz can evolve into its Gen 4 evolution, Electivire. Uh, and the same for like Magmar and several others which have Gen 4 evolutions like Tangela and Tangrowth. And it would appear that our starters are the uh, Generation 1 Charmander, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. So you want the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur? Uh, no, I don't know what I want. I don't know what gym leaders we've got, so I don't know which one's going to be the hard one, which one's going to be the easy one. I'm going to take Charmander, because I always take Charmander, let's be honest. It is the best fire type. Do you want to give a nickname to Charmander? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll give him a name. We'll give him a suitable, suitable fire-related name. We'll call him Smokey. Because he enjoys a good cigar. Okay, and there's our arrival. He's going to take the Squirtle, obviously. Mura is his name. That's right, I've just realised I didn't get to name my rival. His name is Mura, apparently. 
Okay. So we've now got the standard trainer, dot trainer battle, uh, rival battle. Presumably, it doesn't matter whether we win or lose this, just like all the uh, normal rival battles. So, despite being a hack of a Game Boy game, uh, the emulator that I'm using allows me to use the Game Boy Color palettes for Game Boy games. So, I've put a a brown palette on just to to go with the theme. It's Pokemon Brown. Why not? You know, you might as well. Uh, you've got to treat yourself every so often, haven't you? And interestingly, it looks like. These are the sprites from Pokemon Yellow. They certainly don't look as crappy as the original red and blue sprites, which is, of course, appreciated. Yeah, that's right. Rival down. Get out of here, bitch. You suave douchebag. So, this is our town. Gravel Town, I think you said it was? And of course, you've got generic house that you can't enter there. You've got homeless man. Tiny house. Uh, house with garden but no door. You've got a uh, shed in the corner there. Everything that a, a small town in the mountains needs. Yo, dude! Prof Tim, hang on, I thought he was a tutor, not a professor. Anyway, Prof Tim forgot to pick up his pizza. <laughs> okay, will you deliver it for me? So I've got Tim's pizza. Apparently, we've also taken on a job on the weekend delivering pizzas. Oh. I just realised that I can run by pressing B. That's a nice addition. Because in the original Gen 1, 2, 1 and 2... Moving without a bicycle was excruciatingly painful. What are you doing back so early? Oh, you have something for me. Connor handed Tim his pizza. Oh good, I was hungry but too busy to pick it up. Okay. So do we have Pokeballs? No, just potions. So I'm going to go and have to... Blah, blah. So I'm going to go and have to buy some. Oh, and I've just realised we've got the old Gen 1 item bag. Oh, I hope it's not limited to just 20 items like the originals. Hi there, may I help you? Yeah, you can give me some Pokeballs as payment for delivering your goddamn pizza. So, we couldn't go north or east or west, so presumably this is where we have to go. Merson Cave. Okay. Well, that was a nice cave. Oh no, we have to go back in. And it's our first trainer battle. Becoming a Pokemon trainer. This youngster Timmy. Just youngster, that's right. Back in Gen 1, the trainers didn't have names. They just had a class. There was just youngster or gambler or scientist. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give this a firm yes on these being Pokemon Yellow sprites. I'm sure that that is the Yellow sprite for Ratata. Yeah, that's right. Going down, Zubat, everybody's favourite nuisance Pokemon. Uh, da 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 Set out Rattata. That's fine. We got this. We got this, guys. And he's burned. Now, from what I understand, as well, uh, in this ROM hack, it's also included different types. Uh, well, uh, 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 the additional types that were introduced in Gen 2. So, Dark, Steel, and Fairy types, which were... Was Gen 5 or 6? Um... They've been introduced into this, so some Pokemon have had their types altered. Ooh, escape rope. And the learn sets for certain Pokemon and TMs and such have also been altered to bring it more in line with the learn sets for from from f further generations. 
Gen 1 didn't have the most interesting Pokemon learn sets and moves and stuff, so it's a welcome addition. Now that I've already mentioned it, it looks like we got a mix of sprites from red, blue and yellow, because that isn't Pokemon Yellow's Pikachu sprite. But I'm sure Rattata was yellow. Oh, why am I using Growl? Oh, it's fine, because he used Growl. There we go. And I'm running low on health. Level 8. Clefairy. Ooh, okay. Hey, level 9. Okay, so we're leveling up pretty quickly. I've yet to encounter any wild Pokemon. Uh, I wonder if... Am I doing something wrong? No, what if I run around? There's got to be some in here somewhere. There we go. That took a while. Hmm, that was odd. It didn't smoothly transition into the battle. It just sort of, like, snapped me in. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and catch Zubat. I don't usually catch Zubats, but I don't know what's... Oh, critical hit, typical. I don't know what's coming up, gym leader-wise, so I'm just going to catch anything that looks like it might be useful. That's another trainer battle. Yeah, he keeps just, like, flicking straight into the battle rather than smoothly transitioning into it. I don't know whether that's just this ROM hack or whether I've got some problem. Alright. Let's go. Pokeball. Yay, Zubat was caught. Forms colonies in perpetually dark places. It uses ultrasonic waves to identify targets. Do you want to give a nickname? To Zubat. Yeah, sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Pff, I don't know. Zoe. Zoe Zubat. And it's Geodude. Alright, we can't have a battle in a cave without including Geodude now, can we? Now, I'm assuming Geodude is going to be useful, so I will ga grab a Geodude. All oh, right, Geodude was caught. Do you want to give a nickname to Geodude? Uh, sure, Jerry. Jerry Geodude. There we go. I think it might be prudent if I left here to go and heal up. Okay, let's go and visit Mom. Let's go and take a, a quick nap, shall we? We're all healed up. Our Pokemon are looking great, aren't they? Look at those magnificent guys. Charmander, Zubat, and Geodude. Nice. Okay. Well, I think that might be a good place to leave it for the moment. Just as a quick introduction to the series, just to see what's going on get our bearings, you know, get our starter and all that guff out the way. We'll tackle Merson Cave and get to the next town in the next episode. Um, I have no idea how big this cave is going to be and we've already droned on for long enough. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Please do let me know in the comments if you've played Pokemon Brown um, and if so, what did you think? Is there anything that I need to be aware of? Um, do let me know and until the next one I will see you later thank you very much for watching bye